Okay, this is Ranch Ferry. We've got the Dark Angel here with the hoodie. Dark Angel. And, uh, <laughs> That's an Evo Tough Head Evolution 200. Uh, yeah. This one, ooh, we'll get the lighting right. That one went through the spine. We'll cut her up here in a little bit, but there is no edge chatter. 20 degree bevel S7 tool steel. He shot her again because she was flopping around, and this one was anchored in the spine. Broke her again. She stopped moving. No edge chatter. We'll do more detail on that later. But uh, I was. We were up in that tree right there, and I'm in the old tethered saddle. I saddled up right behind Chris up in that tree. There was another tree stand up there, but it was nice to be able to lock in and just swing around in the old tree with the tethered. Thanks, tethered guys, for sending me the tethered uh, for the Phantom. So we're going to go back to the house, and we might have some coronavirus vaccine. Totally. We have a few of those <laughs> at the ranch, so we're going to go get the scooter, drink some coronavirus vaccine, yep. and uh, open it up, open this pig up, and do a normal ranch fair damage control, but complete pass through into the dirt, through the spine. We know that happened. And uh, late. All right, this is the old ranch ferry. We're shooting the old Tough Head Evolution. That's 200 grain S7 tool steel, and it has a 20 degree bevel. It's the lowest bevel anybody's ever made and Wojo's done a great job trying to get the temper right fortunately Chris shot through the spine of our specimen here and we are going to uh, do the fancy Troy Fowler gets demonetized because it's important to see what this broadhead did so here's a video of the shot and what I want you to listen to is impact so I'll show it to you in full speed, and then I'm going to show you in slow mos A couple things happened. The impact is almost silent, and the pig doesn't, was rolled, so there's no doubt the spine is broken. And it didn't go pop. The second thing is, um, she jumped. They all jump. This is still 100% animals jumping on my videos. That was shot was Chris. How, um, Chris, how far is that? 12 yards. <laughs> the official distance is 12 yards. When I was sitting, so I got up in the tethered saddle. I got the phantom and I got behind Chris to video and I watched Chris going. When they first came out, he goes, that one, that one. Oh, oh, and it was like that. And then that one walked out and he just said, nah, that's too close. I got to whack him. So interesting thing about this we got some sweet rotation so let's look at the entry wound and the exit and then i'm going to start busting it apart and look at the damage one thing about the tough head the uh i'll show you some close-ups of the blade this is unaltered um no blade chatter no edge chatter it went all the way through or hit the dirt and uh through bone so it did not chatter so that's a really good thing so chris slide up here we have, this is the impact side so we have a horizontal wound right there, U-shaped. There I am, I'm not pulling on it, okay? And then the uh, exit side, it doesn't matter, I can edit this out, just walk around. <clears throat> the exit side is more about a 45 degree angle. So we got about a quarter turn of rotation out of that thing, which is perfect. And just a normal cut for a single bevel. I'm not gonna, I mean, I can pull this thing open and make it look better than it is, but I don't cheat. So that's the exit. Pig didn't even leave. 
All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to cut cut her up a little bit, and then we'll get back on the video and when it's relevant, and we'll start going. So, oh, back. I have uh, pulled the pig apart and got the shoulder meat pulled back, and we're looking at the wound. What happened to me here is I did not think that the spine was broken. I thought it was still in moderately intact. I drove my knife in this meat right here, and she came completely apart which means that the spine was absolutely snapped. So since we made that mistake and I'm learning, this is not the wound. This is me cutting with a knife, but the wound starts right there. Snap this rib off, this chunk of rib right here, okay? That's one of the rib processes right there, okay? And that's actually the wound channel right there. And the spine is absolutely cut in half. On the back side, look at this. That piece ain't supposed to wobble around. <laughs> really, truly unbelievable. Um, it's unfortunate that you didn't get to see the wound, which was about like that, before I cut through the meat. This is always a learning experience. So the actual broadhead wound is that right there. So, <clears throat> hang on, I can edit this out, just stay in there. All right, here we go. The wound is about like that. That's the entry wound right there. And then that's the entry wound right there. Okay, we showed that earlier. And then it went through and broke out. See that hole right there? This hole, that's not supposed to be there. And then it actually severed her spine to the point that it's completely broken off. And when I dropped my knife in this hole right here, this is just in between the spinal process, I hit right here and she came apart. And that is broken bones. There's a piece of the spinal process right there. That is bone. That is bone. Here's a real quick clip of impact again. Listen to the sound. There's none. So that is a 640 grain, what I call an 11 factor arrow. Of all Dr. Ed's 12 factors, the only thing missing Remember, he says at or near 650 grains with perfect arrow flight. The only thing missing from that arrow is uh, the shaft is not tapered. It's an 11 factor arrow. That pig was close. The shot went a little high. She jumped the string. And plan B happened to us. An absolute utter <laughs> destruction. It's really pretty impressive. I've been doing this a long time trying to break stuff and uh, Chris and I were just joking that he made the perfect shot. I didn't want to see a shot through the uh, armpit or in the rib cage. We wanted to see what this broadhead would do when plan B happens. No edge chatter, nothing like that, didn't stop. The shaft broke because we think it went through her and hit the ground. The fletchings were actually in the wound down here we actually pulled a fletching out of here they stripped off so i think the shaft because they got really short legs and we were we were pretty high 12 yards according to chris <laughs> um 12 yards 12 yards yes he's the official measurer he's a bionic eye so we can measure distance um we think it you know of course it hit the dirt stopped when it hits the earth i'm sorry and the fletchings were in the hole or it would have passed right through with no sound on impact. Just did its job, blew this pig down, plan B. You might want to buy some Tough Head Evolution 200 grains. Get some coronavirus vaccine. That'll be good for you. So go to toughhead.com. Help out the ranch ferry. Yeah, sometimes I'll make a little gas money on some of this stuff. That's fine. If you want to help out the ranch ferry and get a great broadhead, get the Tough Head Evolution 200. It's quite possibly one of the best broadheads on the planet that's hand sharpenable. S7, 20 degree bevel. Apparently, it'll break bone. Late. Hey Troy, wanted to show you uh, 
little mistake that I made. <laughs> Anyways, I was paper tuning. Here, I'll show you. I don't know if I turn this stupid thing around. And uh, doing a little uh, FOC, and I took my bag down from my hook. And I was like, you know, my brain was doing uh, the math there and thinking, I'll just shoot one more shot because I went from a 225 field point to a 200 field point. So, well, I shot through the wall of the shop. <laughs> kind of drove that down in there. And it, uh, let's see, where's the camera? You can see it kind of flattened the tip out there. What it did is uh, it actually went through my building. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> There's a good exit hole for FOC. And then it flew all the way across and it hit my excavator bucket over there. And uh, I'm sure that's what, uh, I'm sure that's what did that. Drove it into the, uh, the arrow a little bit there. Uh, this was already a naked one anyway, trying to do bear shaft tuning. Anyways, thought you might enjoy that. So, peace. <laughs>